hello and welcome back to my channel so today um, I'm gonna go into detail um, about my aesthetic school where I go um, how it's going and what we got in our kit now I started school back in January so this video is long overdue um, but I'm just being able to truly make the video um, disclaimer I am home so I do have Miss Victoria with me. Say hi. No? Maybe? Just a little bit? All right. Can mommy work? All right. So, okay. Where do I begin? Because we got quite a bit of stuff in our um, kit. And forgive me if I'm kind of looking all over the place. I'm filming on my iPad and the way that I have it, um, it's not straight up and down. So when I look directly at the iPad itself, I'm not looking in the camera and it looks all whatever, whatever. But anyway, let's um, hop right into okay. it. So, First things first, um, these are the books that we received. So one is a textbook. And the other is a study guide. And so basically all the work we have to do, like workbook work is all in here. Let's see. So stuff like that. Um, however, they gave us an iPad, so, and that's what I'm filming on now just because it's easier and, um, I like being able to go back and forth, like when I vlog on my phone and this whole airdrop thing, like, I love it. I'm new to Apple. I've been an Android customer for like, ever since like Nextel went out the window so um and it's allowing me to do a lot more like film a lot more so that's why you'll see me like uploading more videos or whatever but everything um that's in the study guide is on the ipad so now like ever since like early february mid-february somewhere in there we've been doing our workbook work on the ipad so we got that. Okay. And then we also received, we also received a book bag. And the curriculum that they use is Pivot Point. There we go. Pivot Point. And then it's got the Aveda Institute. I attend Aveda Institute. Sorry, I did not state that, but I do go to Aveda Institute in Chapel Hill. Um, this is the book bag. It's pretty big, and it has an inside zipper, and then it has insulated pockets. There's one on the other side. There's a pocket here. Um, there are two. I put my water bottles in them, so water bottle holders, and another zipper there. So. And it's very ergonomic. I will have to agree with them there. And then it also has like, no, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. I thought it was, oh no, 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 I am right. A place like for your laptop. So that was kind of cool. And then they also gave us, I'm not working with a lot of space here, so forgive me. My hair is kind of all over the place. So, real quick, like after postpartum, I had this big um, knot from like my hair shedding and everything. And when I went to detangle it, I couldn't. So I had to cut it out. So that's why like this side is more full than this side. And it does bother me. I tried to like pin it, but my hair pins don't want to work for me today but 
we're gonna we're gonna deal with that later okay so anyway they also gave us this big tail duffel bag let me turn that over it has the aveda logo on it and like i said i started school back in january and as you can see i've been using this um but it's a pocket they're pretty deep on each side and then of course it has the inside and a zipper here um something in there Nah. Okay. So, um, now those are the bags, okay? And so, what came in them? Um, let me start. So we got a hand relief cream and a foot relief cream, and I love the scent of. The scent, the scent of the foot relief better than I do the hand relief. And I don't know why. I think it's just the peppermint in it. And it just smells super spa-like. Like the hand relief cream smells good on its own too. But like I just, I love this. Um, we use this on guests when they come in. So like when you're getting a facial, you'll also receive like... If it's 60 or 90 minutes, you'll receive like um, hand and arm massage or back massage, just depending on what. Um... Okay, so I'm back. So Victoria, she needed a nap. So she's down for her nap. I fixed my hair. I'm gonna, you know, got myself together a little bit more. I'm trying to get this film for y'all. So anyway, like I said, um, you get with a 60 or 90 minute even with a um i'm gonna try to keep looking at this at the camera instead of the ipad but the camera instead of the screen of the ipad because i know it looks kind of crazy but anyway um if you receive a 60 or 90 minute you'll definitely get um a hand and arm massage shoulder neck and shoulder or back massage just depending on the treatment that you give because we do give um back treatments as well so um and that is uh, a back massage is a part of all of that so anyway um so of course i only use foot relief on people's feet um i do a we can do a, a foot bath or a foot wrap um and i like to do a foot wrap because the foot wrap i get to use salt rub your feet down with salts and oils and then put a hot towel over them massage it down take the oils and salts off and then move on to the rest of the facial it's easier you don't have to walk on the floor after your feet have already been you know uh cleaned and wiped down and everything so i just like it a little better than doing the foot bath but anyway so that's what these two are for and then this of course is for um hand and uh, hand and arm or neck and shoulder uh, we also got in our kit um, recovery serum so we use this throughout facials because it just helps with irritation of the skin like depending on what you're getting your skin can potentially go through quite a bit especially if you're getting an exfoliating service so in order for your skin not to feel super irritated we use the recovery serum and then we also got two concentrates in our kit. We got the firm and we got the bright. There's also a calm, um, but these are the two that came in our kit and they kind of speak for themselves. So towards the end of the facial, depending on what my goal is for your facial, for your skin, um, I will use a firming or I will use a brightening or calming. Typically, if you're sensitive, I'll use a calming. If my goal is to brighten your skin, of course, I'll use a brightener. And of course, if the goal is to firm, um, I will use a firm, concentrate. But um, I can use I can um, use two together. Um, I typically don't because whatever my goal is, I like to just stick to that concentrate so it can work 
and do what it's supposed to do. If I need, if we talk, let me say not I, but if we talk during a consultation and one of the goals of your skin is to be firmer, then I'm not gonna put a brightener there because I can brighten it with an exfoliant and um, use certain masks to make your skin brighter without having to necessarily use the concentrate. Um, but anywho, this is about what's in my kit. So let me stick to that. We also got light comp oil in our kit and this is to use throughout the facial as well to keep the skin hydrated and also to me it helps keep it um, less irritated because if I am using a certain exfoliant then I can put some of that down so that the uh, granules won't stay on your face and it'll be easier to clean off in the end so that's what that is for and then we also have a cooling oil that we use um, towards the end of the facial uh, we have two of these little squeeze bottles we put light comp or regular comp oil in them um, we have a spritzer and I don't know if y'all can see that but I had some toner in here so that's what that is um, I can use water, you know, anything that's going to spray. Um, we also received a canister for these things inside. And these are our extraction tools. We have I like to say a pimple popper or what have you. Um, tweezers and then long tweezers I probably don't have the exact name I actually don't use these very often because I have not had a guest with um, terrible acne or anything um, so I don't really use them now the regular tw slanted tweezers I do use them if I'm doing a brow wax or whatever and I need to pull some hair. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And of course, same thing. I use these during the brow wax more than anything. Um, I know some of my classmates use them for like if they're doing a bikini, a bikini wax um, to cut down some of the hair if they need to. Um, but typically, we just use these on the brows. And then when they're clean, they go in this canister. Let's see. So, we have four of these small bowls. And they're just used for, like, for us to put product in, things that we need a lot or a little. Because we have um, four. I lost one, though. We have four big bowls. Um, and then we also have these bulbs. Now these can be um, used with ice. You put them on ice and when your guest is getting eye treatment, it helps with the puffiness and everything. So um, also you can use these to cool down like an area that is irritated. I don't know why I'm at a loss for words, but you can use this for areas that are irritated to calm the skin. And we have, I have yet to use these. I've used the bigger ones, but these are just the smaller version. We received a paddle brush. I don't really use this, not even on myself. I actually have yet to use it. So, um, I'm just a stickler for like sanitation and things. So I probably won't use this because to me, once you use it on someone to clean it and then use it on someone else, like I just, yeah. So I'll probably keep this for myself. And they also gave us a makeup case and 
a magnet so they do sell eyeshadows individually and you can place them in here um you can also put you know melt your lipsticks down put them in here whatever but it's a little magnet makeup carrier case thing we also received our own palette this is also to put um product in so when we're doing a facial and we need to go to the dispense area they'll dispense us our product inside of the little um whatever holes whatever you want to call them but they dispense it inside of the palette and we also receive lip saver which is used as a part of the facial um towards the end you put it on your guest lips and that's that they also gave us a big mirror and a small mirror um don't judge me i do need to wipe it or clean it but that's that and we received when i say a shit ton of brushes we received quite a bit so this is typically i have not used this I have not had a guest come in who wanted um, a back treatment, but that is what these are for. And they gave us four of these facial dry brushes. So this is like, we can use the back for lymph drainage um, and then also use the front for um, exfoliation or whatever the protocol calls for whatever kind of facial you're doing even with back treatments and things so um yeah that so we received four of them and i'm not really going to do each brush individually but i will hold up these this is the set that they gave us and these are this these four and this one are typically for the face this one this one and this one are any this one is typically for the body so like i said that's that so when we learned how to do the back facial um, or back treatment, whatever you want to call it. I did use these two, so they gave us four. And I did use these two, but I haven't used them, like I said, because I have not since then, because I have not um, had a guest come in that wanted a back treatment. So, let's see. I feel like I'm missing something. For state board, we have to have our own mannequin. So I haven't named her, um, but this is my mannequin that I'm gonna use for state board. Um, we were instructed to keep it clean and only use the um, mannequins at school for mannequin work. So there's that. And that is pretty much everything that came in my kit. So, School has been going great. Like, I do enjoy it. Um, I kind of feel like every school, every job, every whatever has its own shit with them. Um, but for the most part, like, I'm enjoying where I'm at. I decided to go to um, Aveda just real quick, like, because it was the best school in the area. Like, there was no big thought process that really went into it with what they offer and how much you do get from them the resources that they have and the Aveda name so you know if you like I said if you have any questions about like in detail like why I chose the school like what's different what makes them better what um you know what resources they do have and how it all came together for me to be like okay this is where i want to go then definitely um like i say email me or put your questions in the comment section and i will answer them accordingly um but i'm learning a lot especially obviously about the skin but like not just learning about you know 
how to do facials and extractions and body treatments and things like that but why it's all important and like what the products really mean and just how it how important it is to take care of your skin like i don't know if you all realize but like the skin is no or realize um the skin is the biggest organ on your body and you have to take care of it and even though like you see it every day like it's obviously not an internal organ so um you see it every day and it's funny to me even for myself to know that i'd be like oh well my skin's a little dry here let me just put some lotion on or let me just throw whatever on it and it won't be dry no more right let me just moisturize it but like to know your skin will help you understand the products that you're using like just because you use gold bond in 1947 does not mean that you can use it for your skin that you have now in 2018 like your skin goes through so much on a regular basis and it wasn't until i was in school to really realize how that all worked so like i said school is going great i'm learning a lot i will say that if you're deciding to go to cosmetology school or aesthetics like either way it goes like go in and make sure like whatever questions you have are answered because the school is only going to cover but so much knowledge so you know closed mouths don't get fed so you need to open that if you have a question or concern or something that you don't quite understand then it's up to you to take that to your instructor or whoever whatever the issue is take it up with the person who can do something about it um that will help you learn and not just talk to you as if you're not here to learn you know what i mean so um yeah sorry that the video again is all over the place um trying to film with a toddler is a challenge but um nonetheless i love where i'm at i'm enjoying the process and i will talk to you guys in the next video